After a recent near-death experience, I started to think about how long other species live for. So welcome to the learning curve timeline for how long things live. I really do need to come up with a snappier title. On this timeline I'll be putting the expected lifespans of a number of different species and I will be including the mayfly, just probably not where you expect. I've decided to split this video into two, so I can give you some of the details about the fascinating lives of some of these species. So this particular video is going to be looking at those species which have very short lifespans. So here we have our timeline, starting at zero days, so which organisms are we going to find? Having a name meaning hairy stomach, the shortest living organism on our list is the gastrotrich. These tiny organisms can be found in aquatic habitats worldwide, and measure from 60 micrometers to 3 millimeters in length. Gastrotrichs exhibit utility, where members of each species have got a set number of body cells. Their short life means they don't really have time for cell division in order to grow bigger, instead they grow simply by making each of their cells bigger. Despite you probably never having heard of them, gastrotrichs are surprisingly numerous, with up to 75 gastrotrichs per teaspoon of fresh water. The shortest living gastrotrichs reach sexual maturity in two days and have a lifespan of just three days. So this goes here. Next up we have our friend the housefly. They have a lifespan that can be as short as 10 days, with each female laying five to six batches of about 100 eggs before she dies. In tropical climates there can be as many as 20 housefly generations per year. Now this means that if every offspring in each generation survived, one single pair of flies could produce 3.6 times 10 to the 55 flies in a single year. To give you an idea of just how staggeringly huge this number is, if you imagine that orbiting every single star in the known universe were 10 planets exactly like the Earth, and if on every single one of these planets you counted every single grain of sand and added them all together, and if you did that count once an hour every hour since the start of the universe, then you'd be in the right kind of area. Let us leave the world of insects for a time, and here at 59 days is the shortest living fish, the coral reef pygmy goby. It's found inhabiting, not surprisingly, coral reefs of the Indo-West Pacific area. Not only are these the shortest living fish, but they're also the shortest living vertebrate. It's thought that their short lifespan is a defence against the prolific predation that takes place in the rich waters of the coral reef. A kind of kill as many as you want but there's another generation just around the corner type of approach to survival. Let's carry on shall we? Next we have the shortest living reptile, and indeed the shortest living animal with four legs. Found only in Madagascar we have Laborde's chameleon. This animal spends seven months in its egg and then once hatched only then lives for a further five months. And during the dry season, the entire species exists only as eggs, waiting for the right time to hatch and produce the next generation of this curious little fellow. Most mammals have fairly lengthy lifespans compared to what we've seen so far, but some do have relatively short lifespans. You would expect a mammal that lived fast and died young like a shrew to appear first here on our timeline, but that dubious pleasure goes to the giant Sunda rat. In the wild, this typically lives for just six months. Native to Malaysia, the Philippines, Indonesia, Myanmar and Thailand, we find the giant sunder rat here on our list. By comparison, the common shrew lives a veritably Methuselian life coming in at about 14 months. This provides the shrew with a rather tricky problem of surviving winter. Shrews, because they're so small, lose heat to the environment at an alarming rate. In order to keep their internal fires burning, they must eat every couple of hours. A shrew can eat up to three times its own body weight every day, and this will be the equivalent of me eating 930 Big Macs, and even I might have difficulty with that. Shrews get around this by not hibernating during the winter. They can't, they'd starve within the first day. And to overcome the problem of there being less food available in winter, shrews shrink. Their bodies become about 18% less massive, and their brains shrink by an even greater percentage, up to 30%, which means that during the winter, shrews probably become a bit more stupid. Most birds have lifespans that won't see them on this short life list, but there is one that just squeaks in at one and a half years, and that's the American Gambles quail. It lives in the southern United States as well as in Mexico. 
The courtship rituals are quite interesting. In order to impress a prospective mate, a male gambles quail will exhibit ritualised foraging displays. So in other words, he pretends to find food. Never as scrabbling about in the bins behind KFC seems so erotic. It may also offer the female bits of food. It would appear that the way to a female gambles quail's heart is very much via the stomach. And finally on this list, we've eventually reached the mayfly. I know everything that you might read, especially on the internet, says that mayflies only live for one day, but they're all wrong. The adults only live for one day, but they spend between one and three years below water as larvae. Saying that they only live for a day is like counting human age only after puberty. There are over 30,000 species of mayfly inhabiting most of the fresh water of the earth. And in fact, so short is the lifespan of the adult mayfly that one species, Delania americana, the adult females live for less than five minutes. So that concludes our look at the lifespans of some of the shortest lived species. Join me in my next video when we will look at the lifespans of some of the longest lived species. And you never know, you may even see us there. Thank you for watching.